triangles and flags are some of the most popular continuation patterns trend followers use to spot trading opportunities as they often indicate that the existing trend is likely to resume after a period of consolidation as you can see in these examples. But on occasions these breakouts fail offering opportunities for people looking to go against the trend. I will show you exactly how to spot and trade these breakout failures in this video. Hello I'm Fawad Razakzala, market analyst with Think Markets, and this video is part of our series on trading the failure of continuation patterns. Now in the prior videos in this series we have already discussed the failure of typical chart patterns as well as candle shapes such as the hammer. Using the same logic in this video I'll show you how to spot and trade the failure of continuation patterns. In normal circumstances, a breakout from continuation patterns precede big moves in the direction of the long-term trend. In a bullish trend, such as this example, it is when price breaks the resistance trend that price starts a new upward trend. However, if price quickly drops after the breakout and goes below the most recent low prior to the breakout, then that is when the breakout buyers could get into trouble. The lack of immediate upside follow-through points to weak demand, and so price has to fall to attract fresh buying. So just like reversal patterns, the failure of a continuation patterns can be used to trade against the trend. The failure of the continuation breakout can sometimes be anticipated. First, it is important to look at correlating markets. For example, the Aussie dollar may have broken down a few days ago, but the New Zealand dollar is attempting to break out of a triangle pattern. In this case, the breakout attempt in the New Zealand dollar may prove to be a bull trap since both currencies typically go in the same direction. So always look for correlating markets when anticipating a triangle or other continuation pattern failures. Another way to anticipate and trade a failed breakout is by looking to fade the short term triangle breakout in the direction of the longer term trend. For example, if there is a bullish breakout on the 5 minute chart but on the daily time frame the trend is bearish, then you can look to sell once price hits a key resistance level above the market and after the breakout takes place on the 5 minute chart. Usually such breakouts will fail as price resumes in the direction of the longer term and stronger trend. Obviously triangle breakout failures can happen in both directions and this is how a failure would look like in a downward trend. But the idea is the same as in both cases we are looking to trade the trapped trader. Now when it comes to trading such failure patterns the stop loss needs to be somewhere just above the high of the failed breakout attempt for a bearish trade for if price were to revisit that level again then it is most likely a genuine breakout. With a tightish stop loss the potential reward could be considerably larger if the trade is taken at good levels which is something I will discuss further as we now move over to the charts to share one or two examples of what we have discussed so far. The New Zealand dollar hourly chart here is a perfect example of what we've discussed. As you can see, the trend had been quite bullish before the exchange rate went into a period of consolidation inside this triangle pattern as I zoom in. After some time elapsed, rates finally broke out to the upside, which should have led to a sharp continuation higher. But instead, the breakout faded quickly and price went back below the low that had been formed prior to the breakout attempt right here. Now there are several ways you could have traded this short. One way for example would have been to sell once price broke this low. You could have got on board around here somewhere placing your stop above this or this high. And look how price went on to drop as the bulls who bought the breakout rushed for the exits and others had their stops triggered all adding to the selling pressure. This is perhaps not a perfect example but the dollar yen was trending lower. As I zoom in you can see the dollar yen went inside a triangle pattern as rates consolidated for a while but when it finally broke down the dollar yen should have dropped sharply. Instead once the low was taken out look how sharply it rebounded. You could have traded this long on the retest of the high here or waited for a few days and traded the breakout from this consolidation that followed. Trading the failure of continuation patterns like triangles is an alternative way to engage with the markets than relying on the traditional way of going about the business. This way of trading is sometimes overlooked by analysts and newer traders but can provide a strong follow through especially when used in the direction of the prevailing trend. This way of trading often provides you with a strong idea where price is heading to, in most cases above or below levels where trapped traders stop loss orders would be resting. 
However, it does require some thinking outside the box, which is needed in order to become successful over time. If you found this video useful, please like and share as this will encourage us to provide more content like this. Also, if you haven't already done so, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you on the next video.